I guess it's consistency, consistency, consistency. Um, so Malt Handers is quite unique in that we're a B2B business, and yes, there's some exceptions. We have some direct-to-consumer channels, and some of my colleagues are in the room. Um, but for the most part, we're B2B, and so we rely very much on, on building very strong strategic partnerships with our customers, so be it the on-premise or the off-premise. Um, and I guess that consistency, again, is just about being bringing through that story and the heritage about our brands um, and bringing all of that to life. Um, and I guess for us, uh, the two biggest channels we have are the on-premise and uh, retail, of course. Um, and the on-premise plays a really important role for us because often our consumers are introduced to our brands in the on-premise on and therefore we very much recruit in this channel. Um, and it's a very much a discovery channel. Um, if you're lucky in LA, you'll see Lady Gaga DJing at an event. Um, so it's very, very experiential and we focus a lot of activation in this channel. Whereas retail is a little bit different. Retail is usually a known brand, unless you're really lucky and you're in a store and they let you taste a 5,000 euro bottle of Dom Perignon. Very unlikely. So it's usually a known brand and it's um, uh, there we focus our execution strategy very much on maintaining that consistency and making sure it's still a luxurious experience. But also in the retail environment, it's very much about this shopper journey, about making the, the shopping experience enjoyable. Um, and a lot of my colleagues in the room who own boutiques will know this. Um, and making sure it's seamless uh, throughout.